evening, I'm Storm Purvis, he's Brooke Rusko, oh. and tonight on The Crowd Goes Wild. Novak Djokovic is literally unstoppable right now, and it sucks. Kind of. The Blues suck at holding a game face. What? The Warriors aren't going to suck this year because producer Ra said so. Whack, whack. And the Silver Ferns suck the life out of me in the Quad Series final. True story. All that. Plus, we tell you why you got to head to Palmy this weekend, and we're not joking. But first, welcome Brooke. This is Hello, Brooke. Everyone. Guys. Hi, Mum. I feel like I've done well in life. I'm on Crowd Goes Wild. I always wanted to wear a jacket. Yeah, no jackets anymore, sorry. This is where retired athletes come to die, just a, I feel a warning. blessed to be a part of the fraternity. Excellent. Well, tell me about the tennis, would you? I uh, will. Leading your CGW tonight, Novak Djokovic doing Novak Djokovic things. AKA putting on an absolute clinic last night against Andre Rublev to book himself a spot in the Australian Open semi-finals. Well, I hit the tape, I think, in the end. It was clear that the serve was not there to have any 60 time with the Spiders, taking the first set in 40 minutes. Oh, oh. Well, hold on. I speak too soon on that sexy part. Oh. Anyway, Rublev did his best to mitigate Djokovic's out-of-this-world tennis and even recruited a little help from his Soviet mates in space. Oh. Wonderful smash. But it was never going to be enough to beat the powerhouse that is Novak. Game so much, Djokovic. And if you haven't done the math yet, here's Jimmy to do it for you. If I'm doing the math right, let's see, nine titles. This is your 10th semifinal. You're pretty good when you reach the semifinals in this tournament. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> See, that's why people don't like him. I like him. I understand there were some things last year, but on the court, I'm a big fan. He's like, I, I like him. I like watching him play, and you can't argue that he's, whoa, oh, is he going to be the GOAT? Is he going to be the GOAT? That's the million-dollar question for you. Is he going to be the GOAT? You know tennis a lot better than me. I feel like he's on top like a toupee, like he's going to be there for a while. <laughs> on top like a toupee? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Who brought him here, honestly? <laughs> if he wins um, the Aussie Open, he will equal Rafa's uh, Grand Slam record. Yeah. 22. And he's only 35. He looks in a, better, a little bit better nick than Rafa does at the moment. Can he make it to 38, 39? Uh, honestly, like, possibly. Yeah. No, no one's beating him. It's is he going to win this? I feel like he is going to win the Aussie Open. If his hammy hangs on there, yeah. I think he's going to win it. Yeah. I'm on the Andy Murray Express right now. Yeah. I'm a big fan. I had the same surgery as him, and it's like Father Time was defeated. I had the same surgery. I watched him go out there as my inspiration. I'm like, yes. If you had the same surgery, how come you can't? Still trying to work that out. Basketball. But I am great at the YMCA on a Wednesday night. Excellent. Good to know. Absolutely right. killing it. While we patiently wait for Super Rugby to return, our favourite athletes are enjoying the grind of pre-season. Enjoying? I don't ever remember enjoying pre-season, although the Blues look like, they look, look like sorry, they're having one heck of a time. Here's our girl Taylor with her third favourite team. Third. After a rinse and repeat summer, now it's time for some conditioning. Yeah, it sucks, eh? It does. I yeah. wish I was a back, yeah. I'll be honest. <laughs> like, we're doing this, like, bear crawls and all this sort of stuff, and you look over and they're just, like, kicking their balls. And just, like, <laughs> yeah, you know, keep your head down, keep your head down, That's follow it. through. J not C, and I'm just like, oh, wow. Surely the backs have a different opinion. Came into a uh, team session last week and have no idea what the cause are, so I've got to learn the game plan. And in rugby league, I'm used to two months of preseason where I'm just pretty much turning back up now, and it's two weeks till we play, so it's real, real odd for me. Um, we had a Bronco last week, and I was so nervous. Like you got a good score. So. Well, I need as much help as I can get. It's going for a more aerodynamic kind of kind of take, and yeah. just knock a few seconds off. Okay, and if you don't want to chop the lid, what else can help? I mean, if you can get sauce with his shirt off, it's a, it's a sight to see. Well, I would have gone full nude if I could have. <laughs> Just aerodynamic. Yeah. Yeah. But time. yeah, that was my tactic. Yeah. Like, I just tell everyone to follow the light. Oh, it's blinding. Wow. <laughs> it's like Thor. The ginger Thor, right? Yeah. It's actually a wall. Pre-season is all about practice. And that includes posing. I think I have a go-to up until I get in front of the camera and I just like, I just go stiff. I, yeah, as, as time went on, I used to be real flashy and all that. Now it's just a humble, just, yep. Yeah. Everyone loves riding a bike, town bike. <laughs> what about the gym mask? Um, 
It well, just came to you? We've done that before. A few chains. We've done that, yeah. Tennis ball. That's natural. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there it is. Magnum. Holy moly. Oh, it's a rat. That's our start. Taylor Curtis, crowd goes wild. He is a gift from God, that man. An absolute gift. I'm just not even sure what to say out of that. Love you. Leave the blues, they're holding you back. Go join the Hurricanes, you'll be in All Blacks. Uh, another Come on, one. Bud. Come on, bud. Come home. Honestly, I can't escape these Hurricanes wounders. That's you. I, what are they even going to do with those photos? Blues can't use those. No, what you can use them do? somehow. He's Hands too good. Out at games to the under fives. He's, yeah. he's too good. Whatever you do, use that somehow, Blues. Whoever's the marketing guy for the Blues, this is where I will give you credit. Top notch, top tier. You're amazing. Sam Pierce, actually. Sam Pierce? Yeah. Us for a um, we talk about Broncos and yo-yos all the time. Yes. What is the basketball fitness test? Same, same, but different. We call it a suicide. Yeah. And it's kind of in the name. But it's it's free throw line back, halfway line back, other free throw line back, full court and back, and they chuck 30 seconds on the clock. Yeah. And you just have to get it in 30 seconds, five times. If you don't get it, back you go and you run it again. Okay. Yeah. Well, so it's all the same thing. Uh, yeah, it's run until you die. It's death by cardio. And if you make it, you're good. If you don't, if you did a preseason, then you're going to be all right. If you didn't, then yeah, it's pretty tough. Excellent. OK, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Mm. Great, retired athlete. Love that for us. Time to talk netball. The quad series wrapped up this morning with a real ding dong, dingo bingo <laughs> battle for the trophy between the Fernies and Straya. Player of the series, Grace Nwicky, was on fire early, earning a rare thumbs up for her dominance from Aussie bad gal Courtney Bruce. But mm. niceties don't get you the ball, Coco. And what do you do, Kat? What well, do you do? You make when a you change. Play? You have to make a change. Stacey Marinkovic will pull something at quarter time, I would suspect. Ah, but you suspect wrong. With it all going tit for tat, both teams' defensive ends took a while to come to the party. Oh, oh burger! That's what she's there for. Oh, Brazzle. What a great intercept from Brazel. Yes, the fired up AFLW star spoiled the party for the Fernies in the end, helping her side to the sixth goal win. OK, now that that's out of the way, we have to talk about this moment. Yes, the contact is bad, but I'm not talking about that. Apparently this tussle distracted the umpire from seeing whether a goal was scored or not, and comedy ensued. I couldn't see if the goal was scored, my apologies, so... I didn't see the goal being scored, no, I was neither. looking out here. Me neither. Well, let's no, have a look. Let's we'll have be able look. to tell you, fortunately, well, unfortunately for the umpires, it is scored. I didn't see the goal being scored, because I was looking at the two players going down, and I've asked my umpire as well, so we're going for a toss-up. But this is nuts. We have proof of the goal being scored. When was the last time there was a toss-up? Oh, this is the 20-year-old. She would have never done a toss-up in her life. <laughs> Luckily, she's like six foot 100, so we got the ball in the end, but we lost the series. Uh, the medal ceremony was a nice metaphor for the whole thing, really. <laughs> shambles. <laughs> shambles. Absolute shambles. Cheaters. Cheaters. She, she was staring at it. It's giving Michael Clark cricket. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it's the, the vibe that I got bowl, Run know? me through the toss. Run me through the toss. What? So the toss was... Uh, toss is like old-school netball, which you used to do when a ref couldn't... an umpire couldn't decide who was contacting. Yeah. But they outruled it, like, 20 years ago. Like, tosses so don't exist there? anymore. I don't know. It just happened. I don't know. There's going to be a big review on this. Also, sure. reviews. Uh, I'll follow Nolan to the death. The way she turned the Silver Ferns team around, I will follow you to the death. But if Jess goes down... Speaking to my heart. What happens? If Grace goes down... Sorry, Grace. I knew what you meant. Okay. Sorry. Um, look, we're in trouble. Yeah. She played every second of every minute of every game at the squad series. So Question. pray that she's going to be OK come the World Cup. With your head, not your heart, can we win it? Yeah. Come oh. on, girls. Head and heart. Gosh. Right, after the break, Brooke's going to tell us if the Breakers will win tonight. Yes, the boys. Yeah? OK. And Paul Cole... Ah, Tim Provise is back, baby. Got ahead of myself. Paul Cole is in a glass case of emotion. There he is. The goes wild. <laughs> And Fox has his place in history. He is a winner at St Andrews. The first New Zealander to win the Alfred Dunhill Lynx Championship. And he's done it with a closing part and a round of 68. Huge, 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 huge. That is another one of your Halberg top 10 sporting moments from last year. You can go to this website.
Yeah, thank you, Brooke. Right there, gotcha. That one, thank you. I've got um, And click on sporting moment, or favourite sporting moment, I think, and then you can vote. Please do it. Very nice. Yeah. All right, there are two major benefits to working in sports media, one of which is free travel. Yes, travel, yes, and last year you went to the UK, right? I did, yes. Well, last week I went to New Plymouth, which is basically the same, same. The other benefit is free merch, and here's Tim Profiles trying to get some free merch. New Plymouth. It's Moana Pacifica in your speakers. Bro, you were pretty hearty in there, bro. I, I like that, bro. 685 to the speakers, brother. Yeah, man. Pretty proud of the tour, boys. Putting us on the map, and it's, nah, awesome, man. You're playing hooker, bro. Like, give us a couple of, what does a good hooker have to do for you? Just throw the ball straight, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Whew. The Klein Toko Usos are out here looking sexy. Moana Pacifica to the world. Bring back that Victor J. Sif. She gets up doing it, but I still, still feel uncomfortable in front of the camera. Why? What? Look at you, bro. You're absolutely gorgeous, bro. You are beautiful, no matter what they say. <laughs> Last year was the freshman year for the freshest men in Super Rugby, but they ain't soft no more in the second year because Moana Pacific is. We're about to take you for a ride, lads, go. The biggest thing that I've, I'm excited about is guys now have played Super Rugby. The guys have gone on and played. Do you want me to go through that again? No, wait there. Hey, come on, man. I'm trying to be professional over here. Bloody hell. In the crowd goes wild. <laughs> this, this, this microphone's about to go quite wild too, bro. Guys have now experienced and exp know what to expect from that Super Rugby level. Um, gone and played for, for Tonga and Samoa and bring that experience back. Surely the team can sort a brother out. This is the best dressed team in the comp. I need some free gears, eh? Can I get some free gears, G? Yeah, I'll talk to Taylor. Taylor's the one. I asked Taylor before, she said no. I'm like a 2X, bro. I want that have it have right now, G. Oh, nah, not that bro. Tom Massey started the year off with a limp. Oh. Tom Massey, bro, what happened? There's a gout, bro. Let's be honest. Too much seafood on Christmas. Nah. Have you got any endorsement deals going on, bro? With some modeling? Any sponsors? Lynx? Lynx Africa. <laughs> nah, <laughs> Africa, bro. Yeah, Lynx Africa, bro. That's the one. Well, what Lynx do you use? Nah, no Lynx here. Just... Oh, poo, huh? <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta hustle and get in there. Brother, just 2X, bro. Just 2X. <laughs> It's two X, maybe three. I feel like I'm at the flea market, so Lee. Anyone? Two four five? Hey, 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 hey. This one? Here you go. Too fast, Oi Four. It's to improvise, crowd goes wild. Run, brother. Oh, we love Tim. You know Tim? I do know Tim. He was a coach back in the day. He used to be a basketball coach. And and before we actually used to play, full set of here. After we played him. That's the result. That's mean. Why are you sniffing your armpits? <laughs> really? I'll just make sure you put in the anti deodorant. Uh, Rex Ona, big it fan. Is, it is hot in here. I Beautiful. All right, let's move on. New Zealand squash royalty Paul Cole and Joel King are out of the US Open. With Cole unable to clinch the win in his semi final this afternoon, but it was entertaining nonetheless. Oh, this is outrageous. Talk about doing some core sprints here. Oh my word. Stroked Elias. On these there you go, Elias position. had a few words with the umpire throughout the game. Three. I have four reviews. No, you used them all. They're all gone. <laughs> Cole had one more <laughs> review, but unfortunately it didn't go his way on the match ball. Stroked Elias. Came to Elias, three games to one. Sorry, Paulie. 13 11, 8 11, 11 3, 11 8. Because our squash people are legends. Hey. Not bad. I don't know if you can make out what that is on your TV screens there. Have you got HD? I hope so. That's um, Grand Central Station in New York. Yeah, that's, that's, not, like a that's not a there. bad place to go to work in the morning. There you go and drive into traffic. These guys are playing at Grand Central Station. That's amazing. I love it. Squash is cool, guys. Get amongst squash. Squash. Take it to the Olympics. We'll win squash. heaps. Yes, right, the Warriors preseason continues and whenever they have a media session, our producer Ra conveniently sends himself to shoot them. That's right, he is obsessed with them, right? He is. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully he didn't do anything awkward. Mm. Well, I wouldn't say awkward, but you could say I was doing a little too much. What's off the phone, bro? Hey, what's off the phone? Filming, I'm filming my, <laughs> my questions here. I'm oh. trying to do about five jobs at do you once. Do have Sorry. one of these? Got that one, got oh. this one. Multimedia, they call it. Um. <laughs> Much like myself, Marata Nukore is a bit of a Swiss Army knife, and for the last five years, he's been honing his many skills under a coach at the Eels that gives big, hard-ass energy. Is 
Brad Arthur is much of a angry guy as he seems on the TV. <laughs> he's all good. Uh, he's a passionate um, footy um, coach and you know you can obviously see it when he coaches. Obviously going over, being still fresh, um, just someone to not lean on but um, someone to guide me. I think just a bit of tough love, um, I needed that. And now he's under the guidance of new hot stepping head coach Andrew Webster. How have you found him? Yeah, uh, he was here when I was in the under-20s and, you know, he's been massive for me since I've been back, you know, just just the basics, I guess, um, you know, coming to a new system and obviously learning what he's been putting into the boys before Christmas and, um, yeah, just, you know, learning the new systems and trying to get on board for the boys as soon as possible before trials. Another of the newbies is Aussie Luke Metcalf, who has come over from the Sharks and in all the excitement while chatting to him, I think I might have turned my phone upside down. Penrose and Cronulla. What are the similarities and what are the differences between the two places? Hmm. There's a lot of smoke in Penrose around here, I reckon. There's a, few, yeah, there's a bit of smoke here when we're training. Industry. Um, industry, yeah, industry. it's a lot of industry. Yep. Industrial um, area. Shark Park's pretty close to the beach. I don't want to upset too many people here, but the, the beaches are pretty nice in Sydney. I'm not saying they're not nice here, but... Yeah. Penrose not yeah, known for so, its beaches. Yeah, well, not Penrose specifically, but you know... <laughs> no, no, I get you. Last but not least, we met Mitch Barnett who is apparently well known in the Newcastle unsanctioned boxing scene. Is it true you're pound for pound best fighter, pub fighter in Newcastle, mate? I've got a record of 43 and 35. Zero and 43. <laughs> what a day. See you guys next week. Unless I'm banned from Warriors media sessions for being too annoying. Ra Pumari, Warriors gone weird. Great job, Dad. Great job. Loving it. Good, Let's flip it around. In his defence, he's holding a camera and a microphone and trying to look at this person and I don't know. Swiss Army knife, like you said. Hey, uh, love the signings. Love yes, the signings. signings. I also was having this thought as I was driving into work today. Oh, this is weird. I say driving into work today. Is that we always say it's our year. I feel like that's an open statement. Like, that, that's not close. It's our year, dot, dot, dot. You know? It's our year to maybe support another team. Oh. You know? It's our year. I just thought you were going to say something nice. It's our year to come ninth and be okay with it. Oh. New guy. It's our year to win it all, baby. Come yes. on. Come on, the Waz. New guy wants to make it. Come on, the Waz. SJ, bring us home, baby. Ra's not going to let you back. Right, still to come <laughs> on the show. Sorry. More hot takes from Brooke. Another epic sporting moment vying for your Helberg votes. Seriously, man, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and the Phoenix are playing in Palmy. How good? So good. Yeah. The trip goes <laughs> New Zealand, tu te ramai na iwi, ta tai ta to e, tu te ramai na iwi, ta tai ta to e, pai a, mate. Tahi tahi, tahi la. Love you, baby. Oh Love man, it. that's going to be a hard one to beat. Vote Ruby. So many great moments, but that one's going to be hard. Here's that website again, guys. If you could please go and vote for your favourite moment of last year. How good is that? Take it away. All right, after the break, is that irreparable damage to Raz Multi on Sunday by beating the top of the table Kings. Tonight's game is a must win. Ooh. Their away record bodes well for the game tonight. But why are they so damn good on the road? Why? Good question. One that I asked myself after the last game. Sometimes the easiest answer is the right answer. And sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be sh <laughs> <laughs> But with Barry Brown Jr. and Isaiah Liapa still uncertain, two players stepped up. It's reassuring in three of my last four games is that I have Jarrell and Will with me. And all the other players who wear the Breakers uniform that I trust, they know what's at stake, they know how important it is, and they also know how to perform when the stakes are high. And the stakes are high, but Will's pretty chill about it. Yeah, I guess it's just something that, you know, I've, Come, come familiar with and yeah I mean it's just we, we all love it when our backs against the wall who knows how it will unfold tonight but one thing's for certain Modi thinks I'm pretty good at hosting huh. he's a smart man that's my boy <laughs> two kind coach tip off 9.30 Sky Sport 2 get amongst going down tonight yes okay Tell me, basketball man. I'm um, hopeful. It's a real big game for them tonight. If they win this, they're still in the hunt to come second, which is a big thing. You get that first week off, so you're straight through to the finals. 
Been a bit of a roller coaster last month or so, but if they can get this one tonight, they're going well. Hopefully Barry Brown's back. I don't think he will, inside word, I don't think he will be, but I think Isaiah might be playing tonight, which is big, which good is great. Good news. Yeah, okay. great news. But if we can get him back, very good. Okay, watch 9.30. Right, the Wellington Phoenix men are on the road again, and this time it's a drive up to Palmy. The game against the Glories on Saturday afternoon at 3 p.m., and here's a call to arms that no one asked for. Oh, wait. Can't use your arms. Can't use your arms. Hey, Palmy. Tired of going to the plaza on a Saturday looking for a Blink-182 t-shirt? I reckon. Well, go to the Phoenix. The what? The Phoenix. They play football. Play what? Soccer football against the Perth Glory. They're called the Glory? Yes, they are. Go and watch Ufuk and the boys. Excuse me? Ufuk Tale, the Phoenix coach. He's got a potty mouth. I bet you like that. Hell yeah. You could go to the rugby museum, the wind turbines or the warehouse. That's not the warehouse. But definitely go to the Phoenix at 3 o'clock. Then after you can go to the Brewer's Apprentice or to see the guy from UB40. He was a judge on New Zealand's Got Talent. Oh yeah, May Valley. No, that was X Factor. The Knicks have tons of that. Captain Alex Roofer is from Palmy. He might score again. A footballing miracle has happened! Goal! How about Oscar Zavada? He's a long pole who loves a goal. Six for the pole! Goal! And keeper Ollie Sale might punch someone out. You like that, eh, Palmy? Bloody oath. So what do you say? Palmy people! too much of Rara on the show tonight. Get me there. Oh, good stuff, Brooke. Well done. Hey, thanks for having me, too. Hey, lastly, a massive thanks to Morgan, our editor, Clemmy Hands. It's his right. last show tonight before he packs up for Police College in Porirua. Come in, Morgs! Come, come in. here! Quickly, come here! You've got five seconds! This is the first time I've been here. Love you, Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Love you.